Hello, it's Mikhail, and here we are with another uh, unit update video because it's that time of month again. Not anything too exciting, but there are a few suits that some people care about in here. Anyway, we have the Zaku 2 Kai. The very underappreciated Zaku, don't see it much, even though everyone who started when the English release of the game happened got one for free. Anyway, its movement speed went from 122 to 125. Not really much of a change, but it fixes that it was kind of a weird number to have in the first place. Um, turning speed increased increase slightly. Leg shock absorber went up from level 2 to level 3. Um, that skill's kind of meaningless, but it's something. Increased movement speed while moving left, right, and backwards. That's not bad at all. Um, levels 1 and 2 gained melee combo controller, which I guess it didn't have, but that's always helpful. And then level 2 and above had gained like 5 extra shooting correction, which is very nice to have. Um, let's see, anything of note in the intent? Um... Eh, I'm not going to pay too much attention to that. Now for the Zaki 2 FZ, which is just the same suit with a different head, but it's a different suit here. Um, let's see, melee correction increased by 5, also applying to higher levels, that's nice. Um, increased speed, same as, as the Zaku 2 Kai. Increased turning speed from 54 to 57. Uh, also got the shock absorber increase, also got the directional movement increase, and here's where things get interesting. Level 1 and level 2 had their emergency evasion system upgrade to level 2. Now the level 3 and up always had this, but I believe this now makes the level 1 Zaku 2 FZ the lowest cost suit with the emergency evasion 2 skill. That's not something to underestimate. Anyway, now on to the ever-forgotten Slave Ray. It gained an extra 7 ballistic resistance, an extra 3 melee resistance. It gained observational data link, which is good. It's a fake beacon suit, so it can use that to relay more data about the enemy to your allies. Um, that's the skill that causes health bars to appear over enemies that you've spotted for your teammates. And that also gained an upgrade of its fake beacon skill from level 1 to level 2, which means it'll be harder to find. And then the level 2 upgraded, gained an extra 1,000 hit points, and that appears to apply to higher levels as well. Honestly, not as big of an upgrade as I was expecting. I didn't really see the Slave Wraith as that powerful, um, but it's something. Let's see. The Digit SER gained Offense System Level 1. I believe that skill is the one that, um, the one that, oh, it says right here, it makes it more difficult to stagger during melee attacks. That, that is indeed very useful. And then the level 2 and above uh, gained a bit of uh, melee boost, 5 points. The offense system is good because, yeah, the SER, it, once it stands still, it's very easy to stagger. It's quite easy to stagger, and that can really break its momentum, and because it doesn't have emergency evasion, it's kind of screwed. Uh, next up is the Zekuines Type 3. Gained an extra 1,500 hit points. The machine gun gained an extra 50 meters range, and a little bit extra auto-aim area. Um, so, so yeah, it's basically just a little more durable, and the machine gun is now easier to use and better at range. Very small, but it's a good upgrade, and I really want to like that suit. Same, it's a shame that nobody ever uses it. Next, next into raids, uh, starting off with the Gym Night Seeker 2, which always felt, seemed a little underwhelming. Let's see, it's secondary machine guns, which I think were not the strongest. They gained the power increase from 60 to 70. They're fairly fast firing, and they fire two shots at once, so 
that that that's effectively a one sixth damage increase, and so when you add that to the rate of fire, that's not bad at all. Range increase from one twenty to one eighty. That's a very big increase. That's yeah, that's a fifty percent range increase. That that will make it a lot more useful. Increased accumulated value of stagger. As I mentioned, they 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 fire very quickly, so that could be very helpful. And then reduced red while shooting, which is also nice. I really hope that they make the Night Seeker 2 good. I love the regular Night Seeker, and I don't have the Night Seeker 2, but I really want it. Hopefully now they're making it a bit better. Anyway, next up is the uh, Hyakushiki, which they're giving us a bunch of free ones, and my god, this is, did this suit need the buffs? It was always kind of a joke whenever I saw one. Um, yeah, it got some really significant buffs. Its hit points increased from 15,000 to 17,000. Its uh, fighting resistance increased from 16 to 25. And its speed increased from 130 to 135. I'll be honest, it's... Oh, and the, and the melee weapon got increased power at level 2 or higher. I'll be honest, I... Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of annoyed by this just as a Tristan player who really loves bullying Hyakushikis when they show up. But on the other hand, this... I mean, there's not a lot you can do with the suit to improve it. It's a very... It's a... It's, the, it's pretty much a classic Zeta era... All this does is stagger into melee kind of suit, so you really had to buff its defenses. The fact that uh, the fact that it was a stagger into melee suit with poor melee defense was a real Achilles heel, though. So it's not surprising that they fixed that issue. And then between that and the extra hit points, maybe it can actually survive long enough to be a threat now. It's still not my kind of suit, even remotely, but... Maybe someone will like it. Anyway, next up is the Dwaj. Uh, let's see, it gained 1,000 hit points. It gained 5 extra thrusters. Maneuver armor level 1 increased to level 2. It's a big target, so the added maneuver armor will really help. Uh, special, special leg buffer increased from level 1 to level 2. And the level 3 gained thruster output increase, so that means its thrusters move faster. And its hit and its main heat saver got a damage buff. It's it's pretty good, pretty good. I think that's definitely. Uh, I'm I'm not a Dwaj player, but the the changes seem to address the big issues that the Dwaj has, which is which is uh, just that it's a big target being a Dom family suit. Next up is the Goof Custom, and oh. God, they have, they've listed out a lot of little things. Okay, well, I'm surprised the Goof Custom is being buffed, honestly, because it's always it always struck me as one that held up better at higher costs than most, even before the buff, just because of how good the arm gatling was. Anyway, high speed movement increased from by five points. Let's see. Okay, oh, so I'm going to try and summarize this. Level 1 gained... Oh god, live ammunition inc resistance increased from 10 to 19. That is really substantial. Beam resistance from 8 to 14. Long range... It gained 1 extra medium and 2 extra long range spot, slots. Let's see. Um, and then, yeah, going down the list, it is, for some reason they listed all of the specific numbers. Uh, but it's basically just those same four things. It's, it's range defenses, and it's medium and long-range part slots. The long-range part slots will be good, because it is very... It, it, is, it is a fairly shooting-heavy raid with the Gatling gun. But, the, the, yeah, it does not apply to level 4 and up, which... Actually, looking at this, it, it is a weird suit that did its... That, that actually did best at level 4 and 5. You do not see that very often. <laughs> It'll... But yeah, and then level 1 through 3, they also gained uh, 5 points of speed, 5 points of thrusters, and their maneuver armor increased to level 2, which level 2 maneuver armor is always useful. 
And finally, we have our lone support type suit to get buffed, the Zaku Half Cannon, which was given away with, uh, oh yeah, it was given away via the, uh, a, uh, microtransaction thing. Uh, it was a bonus if you bought tokens back in December. Its health increased from 12,000 to 14,000. That is a very big health increase. Um, shooting correction increased 20 to 25 percent. High performance radar increased from level 1 to level 3. And the big gun deals more stagger. So yeah, all in all, it's a lot of changes to lower cost shit. Except for the Hyakushiki, which we needed with how it was how it's being given away, but a lot of lower cost stuff mostly. I'm still surprised we haven't seen a Totus written nerf, although maybe that has that has to do with the fact that its usage has been falling off or something. But anyway, I am I am glad the Totus Ritter gets to give me some insane scores for another month at least. Anyway, uh, that's it for this month's update, and I will see you all on the battle.